In previous videos, we explored the importance of biological records. However, not all creatures sit around waiting to be recorded. Many are active, hidden, or both. To find these elusive animals, you'll have to go searching, and this video will give you some tips on how to find them. We present a brief introduction for some easy sampling methods for collecting invertebrates that live on vegetation. Sweep netting is a quick and easy way to find a huge range of invertebrates. The most important piece of equipment is a sweep net, which can be bought or made yourself from an old tennis racket and pillowcase. Or you can use a butterfly net, which has a finer mesh rather than a fabric bag. These can be easily damaged if the netting snags on vegetation, so make sure you're extra careful. You'll also need some bug pots to hand but empty jars or clear containers work just as well. Finally, a hand lens or magnifying glass is useful for a closer look at your specimens. Sweep netting should be carried out in an area of non-woody vegetation. Walk forwards, moving the net in a swift figure of eight motion. Keep the net moving so any invertebrates already caught don't have a chance to escape. But you'll also need to be gentle in order to prevent damage to both plants and invertebrates. When you finish sweeping, tilt the frame of the net so the entrance is pointing downwards. The rest of the net will hang over the side, sealing the entrance and creating a pocket where your invertebrates can be safely stored without escaping. Avoid thorny plants such as brambles, which will quickly shred your net. This technique is also best carried out on dry days. Wet vegetation is difficult to sweep and makes your net heavy and more likely to damage specimens. To sort through your collection, the easiest approach is to use pots to catch any invertebrates likely to fly away while they're still in the net. You can then take a closer look at them before release. If you're after a particularly prized specimen, you might have to stick your head in the net, bug pot at the ready. It's best to have someone helping who can quickly catch any escapees. For invertebrates which are less likely to fly out of the net, empty them into a white tray or onto a pale sheet. You can use a pooter or carefully place any of the invertebrates you'd like to take a closer look at into a pot. Don't leave invertebrates in there for too long as there's little air inside and the specimens can overheat quickly in warm weather. Beating uses the same principle as sweep netting, which is knocking invertebrates off their perching surface. Unlike sweep netting, this technique is used on woody vegetation. You can use your hands or a stick for this method. You'll also need a white or pale sheet, pots, and a hand lens or magnifying glass. You can use a specific beating sheet, which can either be bought or made by stretching a cloth over a cross frame of wood. You can also use an upside down umbrella, which comes in handy if the weather turns against you. The easiest method involves placing a white or pale sheet under your chosen tree and shaking one of the branches, or using a stick to shake them and see which creatures fall to the ground. As with sweep netting, having a helper standing by is good for catching readily flying insects. You can lessen the chances of escape by holding the sheet diagonally. Many insects prefer to reach the highest point before taking off, and so this will give you more time to catch them. Also, don't let the name beating fool you. This technique should be carried out gently, so as not to destroy vegetation or the invertebrates. Our third method is what we're going to call a visual assay, aka having a look around. For this method, you'll need a paintbrush, pooter, and pots. A hand lens or magnifying glass is useful for smaller invertebrates. But where to look, you might ask? It's important to explore the various microhabitats in your location that might be rich with invertebrate life. For example, looking under bark, particularly on dead tree stumps, could help you find all sorts of invertebrates that would otherwise go unnoticed. You can catch these by guiding them into a collection pot with a paintbrush or using a pooter. Check out our previous videos to learn how to make your own pooter from scratch. Finally, don't forget to look out for obvious signs of invertebrate life, including spiderwebs, 
silk spun by caterpillars, insect galls, and the telltale patterns of leaf miners. This has been a brief introduction to three easy sampling techniques, sweep netting, beating, and visual inspection. Why not give them a go and see what biological treasures you can discover? And remember, whatever you find, don't forget to make a biological record. Thanks for watching.